part one of Easy Garage Band in the Classroom, we're going to create a simple four track recording using Smart Instruments and Autoplays. So we'll just open up the Garage Band app. If you've already used Garage Band, you might be seeing the recent page with the plus sign to create a new project. If you open the app and you find that you're within a project, if you go up to the top left hand corner and tap the file icon, that will take you back to the recent page and you want to be tapping the plus sign so that you're definitely starting a new empty project. Then scroll along until you find the bass guitar. And in the bottom left of that window, you'll see Smart Bass. Select Smart Bass. So you should be seeing this chord strip view here. If you are seeing the fretboard view, that means you've got notes selected. So just go up and select chords and you'll see your chord strips there. Along the top of the screen, you've got your return play and record buttons. And then just along to the right hand end is the blue metronome icon, that's your click track. So if that's white, that means it's turned off and you won't hear the clicks. So we want to have that turned on. And then if we press play, we'll hear the click of the tempo that we're going to be recording at. So the first thing to practice is counting along to that click in eights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, once you're comfortable with the tempo, we're going to add a clap just after eight and just before one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. Okay. And just stop the click. So we need to get good at tapping or clapping just before beat one because when we change chord in the recording we have to do it slightly before the beat so that the chord change when we record it will sound on the beat. Okay so get comfortable counting to eight and then a quick clap before beat one. So now let's try um, setting our autoplay to number two on the dial. And let's try playing our chord sequence along with the click. So if I tap on the C chord strip here, I'll hear my auto play. And just tap again to stop that, okay? Our chord sequence is going to go from C to A minor to F to G. And at eight beats for each one, okay? So I'm gonna press play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I've, oh, I have to just tap that to stop it. I've done the chord sequence through once. You can practice it as many times as you want to with just the click track playing, okay? When you're ready to try recording, if you look along the top, you've got the ruler guide. That's the section that, of music that we're going to record into. And at the moment, my arrow is along here at number six because I've been playing the click. So when, the arrow needs to be at number one before you record. So if you tap return, just check that the arrow's back at number one. When you tap record, you'll hear four clicks of counting and your very first C chord comes in just after four and before one. So it'll go click, two, three, four, tap for your C. Okay, I'll just demonstrate the recording. One, two, three, four, tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, as soon as you finish recording along the length of the ruler, 
it will play back to you what you've recorded. The ruler turns green and that's your recording, okay? If you want to re-record, if you're not happy with the timing, you can do that as many times as you need to, but you just have to tap return first to make sure that the arrow goes back to number one. And then when you tap record, it will just record over what you've done. Okay? And then once you're happy with your recording, if you go up to the top left-hand corner and tap the tracks view, which looks a wee bit like a brick wall, that green ruler is now shown here as your actual recorded bass track, okay? And before we do anything else, let's save what we've got. So up in the top left-hand corner, tap the file icon and your song will appear there as my song. Tap to rename it and let's just call it Easy Garage Band 1 for just now. And now anything you add to that track will just be auto-saved. Okay, so let's reopen the project. And we want to record another track now. And so that you're not going to hear the bass on top of the click track, we're going to mute the bass track at the moment. So halfway down the left-hand side of your screen, you can see a little swipe button and you can pull out those volume controls for individual tracks. And then if you tap the speaker icon on the left there, the, the speaker will turn blue and the track will turn grey. So you haven't deleted your recording, you've just muted it for now so that when we add the guitar track, we're only having to listen to the clicks. Okay? So now go up to the sound browser, which is in the top left-hand corner. It's that big square with the two small squares on either side. And scroll along to guitar and choose smart guitar. Just check that you've selected chords. You can see those chord strips and select autoplay number two. Okay, have a wee listen to that autoplay. Okay, let's press play and just try playing and counting along. It's the same chord sequence as we did for the bass guitar, okay? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tap one, two, three, So when you're happy with that, tap return, check that that arrow is at number one and then you can record. So remember it'll be one, two, three, four, tap C to start you off. Two, three, four, tap one, two, three, four, five, six. our green recording of the guitar track. So if you're re-recording, remember to tap return first each time. Once you're happy with your guitar track, go to the tracks view, the bricks up in the top left hand corner. And now you can see both guitar tracks. You can unmute the bass to hear them playing together. Okay, so now let's mute both of these. So tapping the speaker to turn your recording grey. And we're going to add a keyboard track now. So go up to the sound browser, the big square with the two small squares, and scroll along to keyboard. 
and select Smart Piano. We're going to choose Autoplay number one and we're going to use the top half of the chord strip. If you play this bit here, you get the, the middle pitch. Whereas if you tap the lower bit of the chord strip, you're getting those deeper bass notes. Okay, so it's this top half, C, A minor, F, and then G. Okay, so if you want to practice along to the clicks, just playing them, that's fine. Once you're ready to record, make sure you tap return so that your arrow's back at the start. And I'll just demonstrate the recording. Two, three, four, tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there we go. So again, as many times as you want to re-record, make sure that you tap return first. Now let's go to the tracks view and unmute the guitar and the bass and we can hear them playing together now. Okay, so last thing to add is a drum track. So we'll go up to our sound browser Scroll until you find Drummer and then in the bottom left is Acoustic and as soon as you tap on that, Kyle's acoustic drumming style will be added along to your piece, okay? So you can now tap the Tracks view and you've got those four tracks, drums, keyboard, acoustic guitar and bass guitar, okay? Now, to listen to them all together, we can turn off our click track now. So if you go up to the metronome and tap to turn the click off, the acoustic guitar is quite quiet in the mix. So you could use the volume slider to turn the acoustic guitar up to full. The keyboard is quite loud. So let's take that down below halfway and then have a listen and decide if you're happy with that balance, if you can hear the four tracks evenly or if you want to change anything, okay? listen and adjust the balance to what you like the sound of try and make sure you can hear all four instruments and that's your track completed in the next video i'll show you how to customize the instrument sounds well done